Hello everyone, this is PR10 Slides and today I am going to teach you on how you could create a cinematic style presentation here on PowerPoint. In this presentation, I have used the morph transition effect and also a little bit of parallax effect on this slide and also this appearing text on your presentation and I will teach you all of this later on. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your thoughts or your opinions, and also your feedbacks about this PowerPoint tutorial later on. And please do not forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials, hacks, and also premium PowerPoint giveaways in the future. This is PRTN Slides, and let us now begin. Alright, so before we begin, I would just like to inform you that uh, videos with cinematic color grade, they usually use the color orange for the text on their movies or on their videos. Just like um, this mustard color here on our presentation. And some of them uses color red or maroon for the text of their movie posters or under um, video primarily so it is all up to you if you would like to use color orange color white or color maroon but usually they match the color according to the mood or according to the theme of their movie or under videos so in this tutorial i would like to use the color orange or mustard if you would like to call that name but yeah, we will use this kind of color for us to achieve a cinematic style or cinematic look for our presentation today. Alright, so we are starting off with two photos right over here. On the first photo, we need to duplicate this um, picture. So let's just copy and paste it or you could just hit and hold or rather you could just hold Control and select D to duplicate this photo. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is to re retain the mountain areas and also the ocean part of this photo. And we need to remove the sky portion of it. So just go to picture format, go to remove background, and there you go. So let's just um, use the mark areas to keep. To mark the water portion and also our mountain for this photo and we will just repeat the process until we achieve our desired result all right I think this looks perfectly good now let's just hit keep changes and there you go now we have our edited photo right over here and it should look like this Alright, the second thing that you need to do is just to go to insert and hit text box. We need to add our text right over here. So let's say society. And let's just increase this text. Choose our color for our text right over here. Let's say the color orange. Alright, and let's just choose um, font style for our presentation and Let's try to increase the size of this text to 160. If it will fit on our slide, let's see. I think this looks good. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is let's just add some glow effect for this for this um, text. Go to text effects go to glow and select appropriate um color point i mean the glow point of your text and let's try to um choose the color white for the glow of it and then let's also try to add um a shadow for our text probably this one all right there you go now that you have that Okay, so let's um, try to add um, some 
design for our text go to text effects go to transform and let's try to use this wave upward okay let's try to use this. let's try to use this it's all up to you if you would like to use this one the wave down or a wave up or this one up and down it's all up to you well let's try to use this one the double wave down up okay so the next thing that we need to do is just to duplicate this um, slide let's duplicate that all right um, here go to the first slide and let's try to um, send this text backward and then put it down um, basically hiding the text and we need to increase the size of this um, edited photo but let's first crop it let's try to crop it first to decrease or minimize the inap um, inappropriate areas or the excess areas for this photo so now we have that let's just increase the size of it There you go, and it should look like that. Um, on our uh, presentation earlier, the mountain looks kind of different, right? Because I added some effect, artistic effect, on this photo for it to um, have that kind of cinematic style or cinematic look. So let's just go back here on our slide. So the thing here is that um, you need to select your photo and go to picture format then go to artistic effect and just select um, this glow diffused right over here all right there you go now we will just do the same thing on our second slide so we will just put um uh, i mean position this text backward there you go and we will just do the same thing just select this uh, mountain Go to picture format, go to artistic effect, and just do the same thing again and select this glow diffuse. There you go. So all up there, if you would like to put the text downward, wait, let's just crop it first to remove the unnecessary space for this photo. There you go. For us to select the text, obviously, that's why I did the cropping earlier. So let's just put it down, a little bit down. There you go, I think that looks really nice so we have this one on our first slide and also this style on our second slide all right so the next thing that we need to do is just to add some minimal text again in front of this slide all right so just go to insert and again um insert the text box right over here so let's say let's say escape increase the size of it select the color and also select your desired font style and position it the middle of the slide so all up there if you would like to make it a little bit smaller or or bigger so i think i would like to have this kind of font size for this for this text let's also try to um select this a very loose um for this text character spacing for this text all right so let's try to increase again i think this looks good all right so the next thing that you need to do is just to add reflection for this text just go to shape format and go to text effects go to reflection and choose the appropriate reflection for your text right over here okay so let's try to all right, let's try to select this there you go and let's try to add some shadows for our text the next thing that you need to do is um let's just position it the center and a little bit down all right there you go and let's try to add our name here at the bottom of it let's say aprtn slides you could you could add your own 
name obviously but for me I, I would just like to add my name right over here and let's use um other fonts okay let's try to use this and align it again at the center of the slide there you go there you go so let's just first reposition our text there you go and let's copy them and paste it on our second slide and here you could now decrease the size of this text and let's position it downward right over here let's just reposition our name closer to this text all right so the shadow of this text kind of kind of look odd so let's go to shape format and let's just try to increase the transparency of the reflection for this text okay, let's try to increase it to say 80 okay there you go i think this looks good all right then the last thing that you need to do is select these two slides and go to transitions and just hit morph in here on our third slide just copy this photo and paste it here on the second slide so right now we are trying to create a parallax effect for our presentation so let's put it down here at the bottom of this slide and hit send to back there you go make sure to send it to back because this will really play a huge role for the parallax effect for this presentation so the next thing that you need to do is just to put this image a little bit upward let's ju just position it right over there there you go you should now have this kind of format on your second slide okay so the next thing that you need to do is to copy this text and also the images here on your second slide on your main slide let's just copy that and then go to your third slide and paste it right over here now the thing here is that you need to position this text and images at the top of this main slide there you go and go to transitions and hit morph there you go um, now you've seen how the parallax effect play its animation on the powerpoint so the last thing that you need to do is just to add a text right over here similar to what we have on our presentation earlier all right so let's go to insert and let's add the text right over here and then let's try to um, use this um, font style again and also the color of it try to increase the size and position it the center there you go i think that looks really really good now go to shape format go to text effects and also go to transform and again let's use this wave let's try to use this wave up okay so let's try to decrease the size of this text right over here all right there you go now the thing here is that you need to add an animation for this um, text for it to appear individually like what we have on our presentation um, on the introductory part of this um, video tutorial so just go to animations and hit appear now go to animation pane and hit this arrow button and select start with previews and then hit again then go to effect options in here on the animate text category select that and select by letter and just decrease the seconds delay between letters to 0 0.1 and hit ok there you go now just try to reposition it it's all up to you where do you want to, to position your text but for me i just love to put it on the center of it all right so let's just duplicate this text again and position it at the down or at the bottom part of our main text now try to uh, right click on that text and go to format shape 
go to text option and in here just increase the transparency of this slide i mean of this text there you go all right so in, on the third slide just add your transition i mean your morph effect right over here just go to transition hit morph and there you go for the parallax effect okay now let's see what we have here so far there you go it looks nice and it looks perfectly good all right it's all up to you if you'd like to change the color of the text you can just try to search more inspiration on the internet about the cinematography style for your presentation and i would like to show to you the other um, presentation slide that i have made with a uh, cinematic style for um, using powerpoint presentation and what but before that please do not forget to subscribe like this video comment down below if you've learned something today and what are your thoughts about these tutorials or if you have suggestions here on powerpoint and we will try to make a video tutorial for that and also do not forget to click the notification bell for you to become updated on our future powerpoint giveaways and also powerpoint tutorials so here's now the first um presentation that i have made earlier there you go here's the parallax effect with the appearing text and here's the other presentation that i have made and here i use the color red for text oh, for this presentation and play with the remove background for this slide all right there you go now it looks nice it looks pretty good and i believe that you could do this super easy presentation animation or this powerpoint animation on your presentation in the future all right this is prtn slides and i think this is the end of our video tutorial today i hope you you've loved it and i hope and I really hope that you've learned something valuable today that you could use to ace your presentation on your academic and report purposes. This is PRTN Slides. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your suggestions, thoughts, and opinions. And do not forget to hit the notification bell. Also, you could follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok page. And I also post some short um, tutorials here in youtube and you could also try to check my other presentation hacks and also short tutorials on my other social media accounts this is prtn slides and i hope to see you next time cheers and god bless to all of you have a wonderful day ahead